you know that feeling when you get back from vacation? Maybe you lost some weight on your lifts. Maybe your body doesn't quite look the way it did before you left. Isn't that feeling the absolute worst? Well, I just got back from a five-day trip to Miami, and I gotta be honest, this was one of the biggest benders I've ever been on in my entire life. I was sitting at the airport, head on the table, debating canceling my flight altogether because I wasn't sure I'd be able to hold it together for a measly two and a half hour flight getting back to Toronto. But now it's just three days later and I'm back to about 95% I would say. Still got a little bit of grogginess, but we're mostly in good shape. And in this video, I wanna go through four things I am doing specifically to get myself recovered, get back to routine, get back to normal. That way I'm able to enjoy my life and get back to the gym, get back to eating healthy and feeling great the way I was before I went on this absolute bender. So that's what we're gonna go through in this video. So without further ado, let's just get into it. What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the Lifting Nomad. My name is Alex and if you're new on the channel, my channel is all about traveling, fitness, lifestyle, living a good, balanced, healthy mix of things that make me feel good and things that destroy my body at the same time. So really trying to enjoy as much of my life as I can. If that sounds interesting, feel free to check out some of the other content down below. Been to 25 countries in the last three years, so I think I know a thing or two about this life. And in this video in particular, I wanna go through four things I've done since I got back from my trip to get my life back in order and feel good once again after honestly, the anxiety, the feeling in my stomach, puking in the airport, one of the worst hangovers and anxiety in an airport I've ever had in my life. And then just three days later, we're back to almost baseline. I'm feeling good going into the weekend. So the first thing I always recommend and what I always try to do when I get back is just don't overdo it. You know, like when you're first back in the gym, if you have been drinking alcohol a lot over the last few days or you haven't been sleeping well, maybe you haven't been eating as well as you should, sleeping on planes, like all this just contributes to overall exhaustion and you're not going to perform your best. There's a reason why if players are doing an international event, let's say they're flying from North America to South America or North America to Europe, they almost always have a few days of like jet lag prep in between transitions. That way they're able to get back to a point where they are feeling and playing their best. The same thing happens with with normal everyday folk. I'm pretty sure I lost 50 pounds on my bench on my first session this week from literally a week ago just because of this bender. But I know that's gonna happen almost every single time. So when I am in the gym, I'm really just there trying to get my body uh, into a pump, trying to get a little bit of a sweat going, get my heart rate up and get my body used to working out again as much as I usually do. I am not trying to hit a PR whatsoever. I mean, honestly, the first week back, I barely even track my workouts simply because I know I'm going to be weaker. So I just plan on being about like 25 to 50% weaker on that return week. Maybe I haven't been taking my creatine, maybe my sleep's been off, maybe I haven't been eating as much protein as I normally would. There's really just a combination of things that affect how weak I am in the gym and how my performance is affected. So what's the point of that? Don't overdo it. Just get yourself back into the rhythm, get back into the routine of doing your thing, whatever kind of exercise that is, Pilates, running outside, lifting in the gym, playing tennis, whatever it is, just don't try and overdo it on the week back because it's just gonna end up taking longer to recover and then you're gonna be even further away from the goals you're trying to reach. One additional thing you can tell from taking a look at my apartment is I prepare ahead long in advance before I leave for my trip. There's a couple things I almost always do before I go on vacation. That way when I do come home, it just feels a little bit easier to get back in my rhythm. That way I'm not like scrambling at the front door to try and get things done. As you can see, always the bed is made. That's regardless. One thing I do is I always wash my sheets the night before a trip. There's just something so comforting about coming home. Fresh sheets, they smell good, they feel nice. You feel gross after all that airport time. All you wanna do is come home, have a shower, jump into bed and it feels so much better when those are crispy, crispy and fresh. The good kind of crispy, not the college frosh week kind of crispy. Additionally, what I'll do is I'll clean my kitchen. I'll take out obviously like my garbage, my recycling, anything that's gonna be around the house and just cause a little bit of clutter. That way when I do step foot in my door after a long travel day, you just you just feel like that ah, woosa, you're at home, everything's nice and cozy. You don't really have to do too much to get in your zone. And honestly, I always try and schedule my flights. So by the time I get home, I just jump in the shower and jump straight into bed. 
Couple other little things you can do. Obviously, make sure if you have a dishwasher, that's like emptied. There's nothing like out and around on your kitchen. Like I just keep my place pretty clean to begin with, but making sure that it's just that extra little bit of clean. I clean my bathroom, I clean my shower. So that when I come home, it's just like walking into, almost feels like a hotel, everything's fresh and clean. All right, third thing I do to get back into routine after vacation is I actually plan ahead a little bit for what it's gonna be like when I come home. And what do I mean by that? Big things and events that you're trying to plan around your life, like a birthday party, or maybe you're going on another trip out of town, or you have like a big work presentation, maybe like a university audition, or you know, an acting class, or something that's a little bit out of the normal routine. I try to at least stagger that for a week after I get home, because I just know I'm gonna be groggy, I know I'm gonna be tired, I know I'm not gonna be my best, and the last thing in the world you wanna do is blow something like that, simply because it's one of those phases of your body that no matter like, how much sleep you get, no matter how well you eat, it just takes a little bit of time to get back to that point where you're feeling good. At least me, after an, after a flight, I almost always feel a little groggy. I feel a little gross. Like it just doesn't feel like me until I get back into routine for a few days. This was, I, I mean, to be candid, this was one of the darkest feeling days I've ever experienced in my life. And even that, it was like 72 hours later, I'm good to go, I'm ready to do my thing. And additionally, that could be something even as planning like dates for when you get back. If you're like, you know, someone, someone who's on dating apps, maybe like stalking the pond a little bit for when you get back to your place. If you are like starting to do that before you even get home, what if like the next day, like you feel terrible, then you're bailing on the person, then it kind of like slows down the momentum and you don't never know, you could just like be blowing the love of your life because you're like a hungover piece of garbage versus like waiting a few days and doing things right. The fourth and the last thing I try to do to get back in routine is realize it's just not, uh, it's not all over. You know, like when I was sitting in the airport, like I was really starting to panic and the anxiety was sitting in. And then you kind of just have to take stock of your life and where everything's at. Looked at my, my credit card statements, I'm like, okay, everything's paid off. Looked at like my bank account, I'm like, okay, I have enough to pay rent and like I'm, my bills are okay. And then I'm like, really? I know I'm not actually that sick. I'm just hungover, I'm tired, I'm dehydrated. All those things that compile to you feeling like death, it's really not the end of the world. So just like trying to get a little bit of appreciation and a little bit of perspective of how fortunate we are to be able to travel so much, I think that kind of helps like calm me down. And then when I do get home, like I said, I shower, I get into bed, and really I try to do things that bring me joy as fast as I can. And for me, that's almost always some kind of comedy movie. This time me and my, like one of my good friends, we watched Talladega Nights, we watched This Is The End, we watched The Other Guys, just like movies that are really simple and enjoyable and just put a smile on my face to try and get a little bit more baseline on my dopamine levels. I think that helps just kind of offset the damage I've done over the previous days. And then of course, if you are a little bit more ambitious than me, you can go to like yoga, maybe try and do some breath work, have a cold shower. But I try to just like get home, eat some good food that I really like, do something that I really enjoy doing, like I said, watching funny movies. And then I try to go to the gym and just do something to get myself back. And then after a few days of eating well, sleeping well, training, you're gonna feel good. You're gonna feel fine. Everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> kind of feels like the internal dialogue I was having to myself in the airport, but I'm just thinking out loud here and this is kind of how I process it. So hopefully this video was useful, a little bit of glimpse into how I recover from one of the worst feeling days I've had in my life, two, three days later, feeling pretty good back at the apartment. So, so thank you very much for watching. If this video was useful, feel free to leave a like or comment in the section below. Always helps the algorithm. As always, my name is Alex. Welcome back to The Lifting Nomad. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.